two teams that Adair could possibly face next year in the Limerick Championship will meet this weekend in the Limerick Senior Camogie Final. And it's taken a long time to get here, to get to a final, Matt. But we do have a final. Um, Ahan versus Khalidi. Both came through relatively unscathed um, from their semi-finals. Ahan, big winners over Granabell and Gary, 3-15 to 7. Khalidi beat Brough, 120 to 1-5. If anything, there are two teams that know where the target is anyway, Matt, you know, judging by their, their semi-final scores. Yeah, and um, for Khalidi, of course, it's a third, a third final in a row. Uh, and it's a first since 2018, I think, um, when they won their 12th or 13th title, of course. At one stage down through the years, <clears throat> uh, Han won seven in a row. Um, yeah. um, it must be, what is it about a hand like they, I don't know how many hurling titles they won in a row um, in, 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 in the thirties, but I can tell you that they won four or five senior football titles in a row also in the seven, in, in, in the thirties. Did you know that, Jack? No. Oh. That they used to, well, I can tell you it's a fact. They won four or five in a row. And, and they were dual champions for a number of years, for three, four, five years, maybe. Um, but basically the same players. Mick Mackey was a very good footballer, by all accounts. But, um, I believe it. yeah, look, the, the, the first thing is, there's a palpable sense of belief, Jack, with all that has gone on. And look, we're not going to get into that, um, that there is a final. And you're right when you're in your, in your brief analysis there, when you say... Um, like they have, they, both teams basically have reached the final unscathed practically. Um, they, 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 they've lost one game between them, and that was when they met in the first round. Um, Ahan had a two point victory in, in Mackey Park. So that, that's the only glove that was laid on either side on, on, the, on the way to the final. Now, there, there, there was a considerable distance, Jack, between them. Um, uh, when they had last played and, and when the semi-finals came around. And you, you, you can have nothing but admiration for the manner in which they adapted to the semi-finals. But, of course, it, it, it was the same for their opponents. They had just as, as long. Um, but um, they were very, very convincing winners in both semi-finals. Uh, like you gave the scores there, 315 to 7 points was the a hand margin. And over, over one of the great camogie clubs, not only of, of, of Limerick, um, but of Ireland, um, Granabell and Gary, all Ireland champions on a couple of occasions. And um, Kiridi, I think, sent out a message. Um, if we thought they were going away after losing last year's final and after losing four or five players from last year's team, a couple of, including Anya Cunningham who, and her sister Emma, who have immigrated to Australia, um, uh, we, if, you know, we got our answer that they weren't going anywhere. With a 120 to 15 victory over Brough in Brough on, on 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 Sunday. Yeah, it's a very very interesting final, Jack. As I said, a palpable sense of relief that there is a final. It's in Paddy Cattle Park in Ballygrenan on on um, Sunday at 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 two o'clock. Um, it it would look as if, um, of course, Hannah have been greatly boosted, Jack. By the return of 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 Neve Mackey, of Neve Mulcahy, um, you know, if you get if you get back an All Star, and an All Star as recently as 2019, she got her All Star, richly deserved All Star. Um, it, 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 it's a major major boost, and the three Mulcahy sisters, um, um, Neve, um, Judith, yeah, who's given great service to the county, and and Claire. You know, three huge players, three players that won all islands with Limerick in 2014. Um, uh, the, the Judith and Claire formed the left flank of the Limerick defence that day in Croke Park, and um, you know, they, 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 you, you know, when you players like that, actually, an interesting, um, an interesting player uh, in, on the on the um, on, on the uh, hand team is, is Noreen Flanagan. She is the vice captain. She, she's a former Tipperary player, and her late father, John Flanagan, was a member of the, the um, Tipperary team that won the All-Ireland in 1971. 
Like there are also the the Herbert sisters who are the daughters of Kevin Hel- Kevin Herbert, who was um, a Hans County winning captain in 1997. So th- th- there's a very rich pedigree of of of, um, of sport in 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 in, in the uh, in, in, in the uh, hand squad. So <laughs> it's going to be make for a very, very interesting final. Um, um, Kilidi have built their own tradition, Jack. They're going for a seven title since 2005, which is pretty, 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 pretty good now. And, um, you know, it's nearly one every other year. <coughs> Excuse me. But um, um, they are not going to belly grand on Sunday to make up numbers. Kalidi don't no, do that. No. Um, they, they, they have a great, great tradition. And um, like they, they, they will definitely go to Valley Grand Jack on Sunday as outsiders. You know, but I, 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 think, um, I think they will give it a real, real, real shot. Now, the coach that's down there, who I know pretty well, Jim Sullivan, is from Kilshanigan Cork and has, you know, has, has great... Has, you know, has a very, very interesting and impressive CB, TV when it comes to preparing teams. Um, um, so, um, I, I think this is going to be very close. A hand, you know, slight favourites. Uh, probably get a cautious vote to succeed, but do not discount Kilidi. You ignore Kilidi at your peril. Yeah, I know. I know Jim well. Um, Kilchenning manager Castle Magner is home. I think is what he he'd say to you there. But um, sorry, Castle yeah. Magner, Jim is Castle yeah. Magner actually. Yeah, well, he yeah. He, he managed Kilchenning to win a county title there, not in, in Cork. In mm-hmm. fairness, um, he managed ma- managed Shamrock, uh, um, Shan Bellamore and managed them to the All Ireland final in Down Kilidi subsequently. And Jim has been involved with a number of Cork teams over the years. So. Um, and one and one with with Kalidi not so long ago, you know. So yeah, he's the, very, very, very wily individual when it comes down to preparing teams. Yeah, it's it's an intriguing game, Matt. When you when you wait up like that, um, if, if he hears you know, me talking about him like that, he'll probably kill me on Sunday. <laughs> yeah, um, you know, but it is it is really intriguing when you lay it out like that. It you know we're poised for a good game. We have been. We have been lucky with the county finals having recent years. They have been close, you know. Um, we'll have a new champion, but you know, not they were. Kaledi were champions in twenty twenty, and I think it was it was a nineteen, I think, or eighteen, as you said. But a hand lost in nineteen, so a lot of a lot of pedigree there for the, both those teams. But you're cautious siding with a hand. I cautious side. Yeah, they are very cautiously because, like, I, I have seen Kaledi over the years and. You know, in particularly that tradition is of recent origin, Jay. Yeah. Yeah, it, look, it, these games can, can go anyway, but you're just hoping for a good game this Sunday um, 